Hello, I'm Nura. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm here with a lovely Finnish recipe, Durunabergin Tortu, which means Runeberg cake. As I said in the beginning, today I will be sharing with you the Runebergin Tortu, Runeberg cake recipe. And next week I'll be here with another analog photography video, but I really wanted to do this video today because tomorrow, the 5th of February, is Runeberg Day in Finland. And Mr. Runeberg, uh, Jonas Ludwig Runeberg, is a national poet and he lived in the 1800s and his birthday was 5th February, what a surprise. Uh, and he is the person who wrote the, the words to the Finnish national anthem. So uh, the 5th of February is celebrated in his name as the Runeberg Day or Runebergin Paiva. And this cake is, of course, he wasn't baking this. His wife was baking it. Uh, but this was his favorite. He would eat this even for breakfast and his wife would make it for him. So, uh, in celebration of this day, I wanted to recreate it in my own format. Before I show you how the Runebergin Tortu is made, I will be going over the ingredients and I will also be writing them down in the description box below. And the first thing that you're gonna be needing is some uh, wheat flour. And other than that, you're gonna be needing some white sugar and also some brown sugar so you got both kinds of sugars uh, some butter one egg heavy cream almond flour a few gingerbread cookies some baking powder and cardamom which is a common ingredient here almond extract and finally some uh, raspberry jam and I'm gonna be using four berries so let's begin making this cake and the first thing I do is putting the butter inside my mixer and I just brought the butter out of the fridge so it's cold and I'm just cutting it up into pieces and on top of that I'm gonna be adding uh, one fourth cup of white sugar and one fourth cup of brown sugar so a total of uh, half a cup of sugars go into this and I'm gonna be starting mixing that and I'm also gonna be adding one egg on top of it and until it becomes sort of like a smooth texture I'm gonna be keeping mixing this together and at the same time I'll move this aside and start working on my dry ingredients and for my dry ingredients, I'm going to bring out this little uh, container so I can put everything in. And I need, uh, first of all, of course, the flour. And for this, I'm using uh, three-fourths of a cup of flour, so one and a half deciliters. And you can use a different kind of flour too, but I'm using uh, wheat, which was called for in the recipe. And then... I'm gonna be adding, uh, let's see, I'm gonna be starting with my almond flour and this is actually 80 grams and I need 3 fourths cup so it is the same amount as the regular flour in this recipe and I only have just a little bit left so I think I need 75 grams and this package was 80 so I'm using it all rather than keeping just a little teaspoon of flour back. And I need some gingerbread cookies. Uh, you can make the gingerbread cookies yourself, but I am using a store-bought version. And my son really loves gingerbread cookies, so I have them always on hand at home. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be crushing them into sort of like a powder form. So I just brought uh, this out and I am crushing down four cookies and I need one fourth cup so I'm hoping that this is gonna be enough uh, let's measure this out and see okay so just the crumbs here okay that was just perfect and they were thin cookies so not very much and what else do I need I need uh, one teaspoon of baking powder that goes in 
and then I need one four teaspoon of cardamom as I said it's a very common uh, ingredient in Finland and they even have coffees flavored with cardamom which is actually quite tasty so anyways uh, I'm cleaning up as I go and I need um, again three-fourths cup of cream so pretty much everything that goes into this recipe is three fourth cups so one and a half deciliters and i'm gonna restart my mixer after i mix this uh, dry ingredients a little bit and i'm gonna be putting some of the flour in and then some of the cream until it is all um, smooth and creamy My cake mixture is ready and now it's time to set it up and for this I'm going to be using a little bit of jam as well so I'm just taking it out of the uh, jar here into my container so that it's easier to work with because this is a long uh, bottle and it's hard for me to get anything out of it. Anyways, how I assemble the cakes is I put one uh, spoonful of the cake mixture on the bottom of these muffin tins and I line them it with paper because it's easier to take them out after I bake them and after I put one uh, spoonful of mixture into all of them I'm gonna be topping them off with one teaspoon of the jam and then I'm gonna be adding a second spoonful on top of that so that it uh, basically covers the entire Thing. So it's uh, cake, jam, and then cake topped. I prepared 12 muffin tins but my mixture wasn't quite enough so I'm just gonna uh, pour these two back onto themselves and then I have one that's not covered but I'm gonna eat it myself so I think that's gonna be totally fine and while these bake in the fridge uh, in the oven sorry I'm gonna be prepping my uh, syrup for this cake and I'm gonna be using almond extract the recipe called for rum or almond liqueur but I'm not gonna be using alcohol because I'm gonna be giving some to my son as well and I'm using one spoon almost of almond extract and it is really uh, a heavy almond smell in here so if you are not a fan of it you can use less and I'm gonna be topping this up with uh, two spoonfuls of water to uh, melt the sugar and once I take my cakes out of the oven I will let them cool a little bit and then uh, pour this onto the cakes. My cakes are out of the oven and I let them sit for about 15 minutes and now it's time to pour this uh, syrup on top of them and I'm using a little brush to just brush them over the top and I will keep going until this mixture is all gone and uh, the recipe says to let them sit for a few hours and best overnight so I think I will probably set them aside for overnight And now it's time for the final decorations. I put a spoonful of jam in the middle and I'm just lining the outside with some icing sugar. So I just showed you how the cake is done and now I have it ready right here. And this is a store-bought version which I got from uh, Trun Kaupahalli. Uh, you can see the Trun Kaupahalli in my Turku video. And this is the original shape. So normally you would have either a uh, metal uh, cake um, cake tin uh, or a silicone version, uh, which would give this cake its shape. 
and I didn't have enough time to get one so I just used my regular muffin tin uh, which ended up making the cake a little shorter than the original uh, but otherwise the taste is pretty similar and this recipe is actually I think quite customizable because you can just change the flour that you put in and instead of wheat flour you can use like spelt flour or something else and you can change the jam that goes into it because the original recipe says raspberry and I used some mixed forced berries and what else? Um, I sort of overdid the almond extract. Uh, the recipe was calling for rum or almond liqueur and I didn't want to add alcohol because I would end up giving this to my son. So instead I used almond extract and I put it a little too much. For me, it tastes perfectly fine because I like the taste of it. But if you're not too fond of it, you can go a little easier on that. And otherwise, you can like change the shape and everything is fine as long as it tastes good, which hopefully it does. Let's see. It is quite a moist cake and I baked it for a total of 18 minutes. I just checked it in 15 minutes and then added three more and the original recipe was saying 15 to 20 so making it shorter didn't really change the amount of time i spent on this and um it is like i said quite moist because after you take it out of the oven you put the the almond extract water and sugar mixture on top and this actually waited almost 24 hours before i ate it so uh, it soaks up all the juices, which makes the cake more yummy. So it's more like a moist, wet cake as opposed to being sort of like a muffin. And I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Like I said, I wanted to uh, celebrate Runebergin Paiva, Runeberg Day, by cooking his favorite cake. And if you want to catch up with me next week with another analog photography video, Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button. I'll see you here next Tuesday. Bye!